Yeah, I've got myself a pony to... Uh, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. I noticed um, one thing that I did. I named my pony to Raldos. And it wasn't until I was actually editing that I realized my uh, pony to is female. Yeah. Hey, we're a very progressive channel here. So, won't make any judgments about its name. And the fact that that was my absolute cock up. Right. Uh, I think I've already healed up, but you can never be too sure. Uh, I'd also like to give a thanks to Dave for pointing out in the comments that the shaking Pokeball icon during battles is because the Pokemon is close to leveling up. Something I probably should have just googled myself. But, you know, I like you guys to feel like you're part of this channel. Let's see what Spoopy's up to. Oh. Hardly anything. Right. Let's change this. Oh. Too far. Okay, and so now it's on up through Route 210. Okay. So I know I'm likely to find ponytails around here, so I'll leave Sporphy out front. I'm not sure what my next direction is going to be. Tailbone. Um, I think I need to go to Celestic Town. That's Route 211. Or do I need to go off to Veilstone City? I really don't know. And then we'll keep heading north as if we're going to Celestic Town. See how that goes. Gives me a chance to level all these guys up anyway. I think the next gym is probably close to level 30. Oops. Okay, don't know what you guys have got. Pikachu and Clefairy. Okay, so let's not send any flying guys out. Okay, Splurphy. We'll get back here. Hmm. Send Marno up out, he's really less likely to be taken out in one shot. Ah. I thought it was going to be more effective than that. As you are, Belknap. I don't know what that does. Oh, are you draining it from Clefairy? Yes, that's what that does. The strategy is working slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. Yeah. Ooh, 
Nice crit, Belknot. I love it when a plan comes together. Don't know what you've got either. Let's find out. The luster of your Pokemon's fur. Maybe I should just set it on fire. Pichu. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that ain't, that ain't happening. Belmont must be at that confusing stage in life. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> Blood. Did, did that Pichu just flip me off? Oh. I'm fairly sure Belmop just flip uh, that Pichu just flipped me off. Belmop ain't gonna take that. See, the paralysis didn't proc once. That's why I I never bother with moves like that. Status effects that paralyze opponents. Yeah, carry on, Belmont. You got this. Whoopa! Oh, that was actually quite strong. Mega Drain's running pretty low in PP. I think we may have to run back to your center soon. Ah, oh. <laughs> now it procs. Procs? Pops? Whatever you call it. I don't actually know what you call it when I when it triggers. Whoa! That must have been a critical. It didn't come up as a crit. I am confused. <laughs> Hardly anything but. Oh. Happy. Do I risk it? We get Belknop out of there. Yeah, just have to straight overpower you. Too risky. A couple of turns where paralysis gets in the way and Balnock could be in all sorts of trouble. I mean, Lamrid's now in all sorts of trouble with being confused. Come on. Oh. I'm the myself in the face. Has this got any offensive moves at all? Or does it just wait for me to beat myself into submission?
Oh, no, I see what you did there. No, don't do it again. That's actually quite a lot of experience. Yay! Roselia! Grass whistle? Let's have a look at what grass whistle's all about. No. Do not want to learn that. 55 accuracy? That's useless. enough to be able to take a couple of hits. Oh, that's all there is up here. A great ball. Okay, take that back. That's actually quite nice. I like that. I don't know what you've got. You know what? I might, I'm going to put Ubo out front. See if we can use Mysterious Power a couple of times on you. Freshly squeezed milk. Find it. That's a lot of Psyducks. Can I electrocute all the Psyducks? I want to electrocute all the Psyducks. Clever. I also found out, by the way, that Yunon can't learn any move other than Mysterious Power. Oh, Hidden Power, sorry. Um, not through leveling up, not through TMs, nothing. This is all they can do. So. <laughs> Ubu may not stick around in the team too long when Spoopy comes back. Snap out of your confusion, Oob. You're a floating letter. I understand that can give you an existential crisis, but come on. Ooh. Yeah. Using a noob is actually quite boring in battle. There's like no tactics. Just same attack over and over and over. I don't think fairy types existed in this Pokemon this generation. I think they only came in in Gen 6, didn't they? Or in Gen 4. So all of these are normal types. Ooh! Penny's quite resilient. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Ah. Of course it failed. Oh, come on. Really?
One more and we're getting out of there. Oh, come on. Getting you out of there now. I want to get Raldos some experience, but I don't want to put it in a, in a difficult situation. Going up against something the same level and losing a turn. Ooh, Raldos isn't happy. It's glowing red. He's in copycat? That wasn't very effective at all. <laughs> Raise the power. That ain't gonna get you anywhere, happy. Stomp on its head. That's a very human-like footprint for a pony. And that's a lot of experience for one Pokemon. I like fighting hippies. Oop. Yeah. Not gonna rely on Ubi too much. I will heal it up though, because you may come to rely on it. Need a super potion, I guess. Oh, well. Ah, well. If that's not something that'll benefit from water and grass type going against it, I don't know what is. I guess they're farmers, they're not hikers. Still don't know what type Stunky is. Gotta be dark or something, I guess. <laughs> Badly poisoned. Doesn't seem to be doing too much. So. Everyone switch targets. Stop that. Stop that! Stop it! Oh, thought that might have had enough power. Bye, Glamio! I, I keep forgetting that Swift can hit multiple targets. I should have been using that instead. Did 
thanks for the money. That's a horrible pun. What's that TM you gave me? Roost. Hmm. That could be useful. Onwards. Ooh, it's raining. Not raining. I'm guessing I can't get that way then because of all the side ducks. I've never had to fight indoors before. Well, inside a. Well, obviously I have, but I mean in a, in a house like this. Shut up, you know what I mean. Of course I've had to fight indoors. Gems. Team Rocket Buildings. Oh. Well, that hardly did anything. That's hardly useful when you're the only Pokemon in the match. Is it going to be a war of attrition, this one? Until you crit. Yes, I too, I would be very confused if that's all you did. Some sort of battle cafe. Sudo Wudo. Oh, I'm sending a water tap. <laughs> he had forgotten how hilarious Sudo Wudo was. Yeah, uh. Huh. Not sending a water type out against a tree. It is a tree, isn't it? It's a rock type. <laughs> it's like that other stupid freaking tree that isn't a tree, and I swear to god it looks like a bloody tree. Type? Oh, it's a rock type. Yeah, it evolves from Bonsley, that's why it looks like it.
Yay! Well done, Spruffy. Got a lot of these. Got a pretty good defense on it. I mean, this... It's only doing half damage. That's my head. Huh. Okay. I don't like the idea of leaving Splurfy in there. Water gun missing and not happening again. some knowledge to test you with. What should you not do if you want to be effective in battle? Use the same Pokemon over and over again. There you go. There's some knowledge. Dropping knowledge bombs up in here. Knowledge if I beat the get beat somebody through that same Pokemon three times in a row. Well, I'm gonna have a heated discussion over kicking your ass. Glad to do that again. That really wasn't much use, was it? Oh, well, is the encore still going? Okay. PP left in water gun. I see your gimmick. You just have the same Pokemon all the time. You're not necessarily a Pokemon collector as you are a collector of the same type. Done. Thank you. This one's a little tougher. Great, so you're going to use water gun on a water type. Uh, oh well, with the end of that encore, we'll cut this episode here. 
check back next time for the thrilling conclusion. Next time on Nuzlocke.